Hey y'all, welcome to Piece of Art and Soul Studio. I'm super sorry, I'm like eight minutes late. Um, it's been a really long day and I am so super excited to paint with you guys. First of all, let me go ahead and see who is watching and see. Let me go ahead and... <clears throat> oh, hold on. Trying to see like what um, make sure it's like in our group. So because we have a free group you can join. Um, that's where you get painting tutorials, you get um, techniques and tips and stuff I like to do in there. Um, and I'm making sure that I'm here. Okay. Um, Alright. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm live here and I'm going to make sure I can read the comments. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. And make sure I mute myself so that you guys can't, can't hear me. So. Welcome. I am super excited. We are doing the church, the country church. I'm super excited to do this. Um, this is going to be part one to this um, tutorial, and I'm actually going to show you how to do it freehanding, um, which I'm really super excited about doing, just freehanding um, painting. But in our group, I'm actually in the process of giving you guys a tracer. Um, I got home kind of late today from work, so I wasn't able to get into my, um, my, where I make my tracers and stuff to give you guys a tracer, but I'm going to go ahead and do that tonight, and I'm going to go post it tonight for you guys so that when we do part two next week in the group, so you'll have that ready to go. For part two and you can just do part one and then go back to part two now I'm doing this on wood so I'm doing this on a 10 by 10 so this is just a 10 by 10 piece of wood I've already stained it I even stained the back and so I'm going to be painting on this um, and it's gonna be a little bit different because it's gonna it does, there's no tracer so I'm not doing a tracer I'm just I'm just painting I'm freehanding so Let's get started. All right, so the paints that you're going to need, and if you saw my post in the group, I gave you the colors that you need. So you need black. Now I'm using um, multi-surface black paint because I'm painting on wood. Um, and so I'm just using multi-surface paint. You need yellow, so you need just a yellow, a green. It can be like a, kind of like a, a Christmas green or a four screen. I kind of like this screen a little better, so I might switch back and forth, but I might just use that one. Brown, so just brown paint. White, of course, always need white. Red, and this is just regular, this is cherry red. I have not opened it yet. Probably should open it, um, but this will probably be for part two. I'm not totally sure. Um, right now we're just doing the background. Today we're just gonna do the background, and we're gonna do our our church so we're going to build our church um, I put per I didn't put purple in there but I want to put a little purple in there and then I have some glitter that I want to put some glitter on my always glitter everything up so I'm gonna use glitter so let's go ahead I'm gonna put you guys down here and show you exactly what we're going to be doing um, today and hopefully you can see what I'm doing and if not, I can raise this up a little bit. Oops. There we go. Maybe that'll work. Kind of like, oh, it's an angle. Not at an angle. You guys going to have to excuse me today. I am, like, literally having some technical difficulties. <laughs> if I could tell you the day that I've had. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here we go. 
There we go. Maybe I raise it up a little bit. That way you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Maybe you can see. All right. There we go. Okay. Here we go. So I don't like the way that it's angled, guys. So I'm trying to, and I'm going to run out of light because I'm out here and the, and I can easily just put um, my lights on outside, but I don't want to run out of light. Okay. All right. You guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to actually gonna move this over a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Actually, nope. I need to move it this way. I forget it's opposite. When you're looking at the camera, it's totally opposite of what you're doing. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's opposite. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna dispense red, yellow, green, blue, brown, white. But I'm actually not gonna do all the colors at once. I'm just gonna do white and blue for right now because I'm doing my background right now. Oh. My Lanta, I forgot blue. That's another color I forgot, so give me one moment. I always forget something, guys. It's always like... I always forget something. It's always something. Forgetting something, forgetting a paint, forgetting my brushes. I was pretty prepared today. But then I got home and I had like several accidents over and over. I I don't know, guys. It was been it's been a doozy today. Um, but I'm here and I'm ready to paint. Okay, so we're gonna use the flat brush, the big flat brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of um, take my white and kind of dip it and then take my blue and dip it and I'm going to do kind of like a two tier color here and I'm going to just do my background so I'm going to do my whole entire background um, I want to leave some of the brown so I am going to leave some of the brown and I'm just going to kind of start from um, I'm going to start up top so I'm just going to swirl my blue paint and then paint the do like horizontal so I'm just gonna kind of just do horizontal, and I don't want to, I don't want to really blend too much. This is gonna be my sky up here. I don't want to blend too much. I want to like kind of, and I kind of want to make it look rustic a little bit. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of the brown on the sides a little bit, and I'm gonna dip it more into the white to bring up some over here. So I'm just doing the background right now, and this is super easy, and because I'm doing it on a darker color, I have to fill some of these gaps in, so I'm just going to fill it in as much as I can. Now I want it to look kind of rustic, so I don't want it to kind of overwhelm the whole, um, I don't want to put too much paint on there, but I also want enough paint to cover it to make it look like, you know, a sky, right? So here we go, we are, I'm trying not to paint my computer, guys. Maybe I should just move my computer out of the way. But it's holding my, it's literally holding my stand. <laughs> it's holding my stand. So I'm actually going to move this out of the way. That way, yeah. Because I feel like I was painting my, I was literally painting my, my thing. But that, this is so I can see your guys' comments as you're, um, which way am I going with this? Hold on. Nope, I need to go further this way. It's totally opposite. It's so annoying. Okay. So I'm just doing horizontal. I'm taking my paintbrush and I'm just doing horizontal. And I'm kind of just dipping it in both of the colors and doing like the streaks right here. And I'm leaving a little bit on the side. And if you want more white, you can put more white in it if you would like. 
okay? Kind of, kind of, kind of do the same on the bottom because but we're going to do a little more white on the bottom because this is going to kind of be our, um, our, our snow, right? So this is going to kind of be our snow. We're just kind of doing this streaky look to it. We're going to come back in here and do a little more depth um, work here. Here in a minute with our... I want a little more white down here because I'm, I'm literally going to be using this as my snow down here. So, And what I like about doing the dark color on top of... And doing the light color on top of the dark is that it really does give that rustic look to it. And then you can kind of dip your, your paint brush into a little bit of the black to kind of, I don't know, like this is going to, this part right here is kind of being my pathway a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dip it a little bit. I'm not going to put a lot because I don't want a lot. This is kind of going to be my pathway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of bring some black in here. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Because what you're going to do is you're going to create that depth perception. I talk about depth perception a lot in, in doing art and whatnot. Because this is going to be my little pathway. And now it looks backwards on y'all's end. And I'm actually, I'm probably going to end up turning the, the camera around so you can see the exact way that it's supposed to look like. So give me one minute. I'm actually going to turn the camera around. see. Nope, that's, that's all right. Okay. So as you can see, the depth perception is different now. Um, it's on this side instead of being on the other side when you look at it. Um, and the reason for that is because this is actually going to be our pathway right here. And I'm kind of glad I, I turned it around really. Yeah, we'll shine some light on that. Alright, so this is kind of our little pathway right here. Right? And then you want a little bit over there. I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of white over here to create that path look to it. Now we gotta let this dry. So this is gonna dry for a moment. I have, you know, I have a little bit of blue here. If I wanted to put a little more blue in there, I could. Like if I wanted a little more blue right here, I could put a little more blue right here. To kinda just give it that satisfactory of, okay, that's part of the snow. It is a little blue, because sometimes when the sun hits the snow, it'll, show some blue. This kind of gives me my line to where I want to put my my church. So this is a little line right here that gives me the reference of where my church is going to go. And I'm going to show you here in a minute of how we're going to do um, how we're going to do the church. I It says to um, I'm actually going to I was going to use black, but then I think I'm going to use brown, so I'm going to use brown. And the instructions will tell you to use a little bit of white and a little bit of brown. Um, and you can totally do that, or you could do black if you wanted like a little darker color. So I'm just using a little bit of brown, and I'm going to use a little white. But I'm going to let this dry for a minute, okay? And I'm going to give you guys, so this is just part one to my part two. Now, if you want to part two, you can go to my, um, you can go to my Facebook group and part two will be in there next week. So this will part, be part one 
you'll also get access to this too in the group. Um, but if you want part two to this today, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the link to our free Facebook group because here is the thing, you get extra stuff over there and I like to give my, my little paint community um, something new every kind of every every week or every month or whatever sometimes I do every month and sometimes I do every week um, this is the group that you want to go to when you want you, if you want to do the second part of this so that's the group it's called coffee create repeat and repeat it's free pet paint tutorials techniques and tips um, you get a lot of techniques and tips in there I'm actually going to do a lot more of these lives in there to give them, you know, some more tips and stuff like that. Um, because I think it's important that they get what they need in that group. And I do give a lot away in that group. Um, there's several. So if you guys saw my live, let's see what's in here. In my guides, if you go to the guides, you'll get the desert dream video that I did there's also the pumpkin mums that are in there and then when I did the um, the three little witches I, that's in there too and then I also gave them a free tracer um, I gave them a full-size tracer a free tracer for them to create whatever they want and I try to do this monthly um, what else is in my group I'm going to be doing free tutorials every month so this one's part of the free tutorial for September. I haven't decided on what I'm going to do for October, um, but this is a free one. This is their. This is the country, the country, the country church, and I want to call it like Christmas church. But um, you'll get part one and part two to that, and part two will be next next week. And I'm not sure what day on next week, but if you want the part two, um, you you have to get. If you want access um, to part two, um, you can go, you can join our group. So if you want access to the part two, I put part part, sorry guys, it's been a really long name. Um, if you want access to part two, you can join our group and you'll, you'll be able to get the tracers, the tracer because I have like the little box tracers for this, for the church tracer, um, and you'll get the instructions. So you'll get the instructions, the tracer, and the video. And you can paint it yourself. Um, it's for personal use. And um, yeah, it's super fun and super excited to have people in there to just paint and create whatever they want. Um, so yeah, pretty much that is what we do what we do in there we we just create and we post whatever creation that we're making and uh, I'm trying to make it more you know where there's more incentive to join um, <laughs> back. Apologies. Jeez, I did not call. Sorry, I had to put my phone on not disturb. <laughs> it happens. Oh my goodness, it's getting super, super cold right now, and I'm loving it. Oh, fall is like literally in the air right now, even though today it was super, super hot. But I'm feeling it right now, and I love it. Um, I'm so ready for fall, guys. I'm tired of the heat. It's like 100 degrees. They said it was supposed to get up to 100 degrees this coming week or next week. And I'm like, no, I don't want it to be 100 degrees. Anyways. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's get back to our painting. It's not quite dry right now. And I could totally take a hair dryer and I can dry it if I wanted to dry it really quickly. Um, which is fine. And... I can wait or I can continue to move on if I wanted to. I think I could move on if I needed to, but we're going to go ahead and just, 
I'm gonna move on and see if it'll let me move on. If, if it's too wet, I'll stop. But um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of mix um, a little bit of white and a little bit of brown. So we're gonna kind of mix a little bit of this. Kind of get making it like a light, like a light brown almost. Um, more brown than white. So you need a little more brown than white. Just takes a little bit, doesn't take a lot. And then you're going to do your first square. So we're gonna do our first square. And um, we're just gonna do one in the center. So we're gonna do it in blocks. I'm gonna show you how to do it in blocks. Now, this one's not gonna be as big because I want it to be, you know, small enough to fit onto my canvas. So I'm actually gonna just do one block here. And I'm just gonna do like a rectangle. So it's straight, it's not really in the middle, which is fine if it's not in the middle, it's not a big deal. And then we're gonna paint a triangle on top. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, we're supposed to do a smaller one right here. Disregard what I just said. There's a big one. We're gonna kind of do these patterns. So we're gonna do a small one right here. I'm gonna do a small one right here, right next to this big one. And then if you need to use your smaller paintbrush, you can. You can use your round paintbrush to do a square or a triangle. So we're doing a triangle up top like this. Like that. So that I'm using shapes because I want to shape out my church. So I'm going to use shapes. I'm going to use my round brush. It says to use a flat brush, but you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm just using my round brush, which is totally okay. And then the next one you're going to do is, of course, this one right here. But then now we're going to do the same one, but we're going to connect these two and it's just going to be a square. And it's okay if the color is not the same, it's not a big deal. Okay. We just want the outline. And then for this one, we're going to do a triangle on top. So this is going to be a triangle here. so and then we're gonna do a little triangle up here so it well, was kind of like a rectangle so we're just gonna do a rectangle it's probably misshaped but whatever I don't really care about the shape <laughs> if, as long as it's on top of the, the top right here it's totally okay okay and then I'm making sure that I'm not going ahead, guys, so give me a minute. Um, and then we're gonna just gonna go ahead and fill in. Now, there's like this little, um, there is a roof right here, so, oh, I hope my phone's not going off, hold on. Okay, I thought my phone was going off again. I felt like vibration is on the thing. Um, so there is a roof right here, so there's like a, kind of like a, a square, uh, not a square roof, roof, but um, there is like a black top roof right here. So, and I'm trying to let this go too long, that way I can do tart part two um, next time. We're just gonna fill in our church, and then t the next time we, when I come back on, and our group, I'm gonna finish it up. Um, so we're just gonna finish our church, and then I'll finish it up. Um, I'm just trying to read to make sure that we're not. Okay, I'm not going ahead. You know what I mean? 
All right, so now we're just gonna fill in. Make sure you keep that line there, this line right here to separate them too. And we're just gonna kinda go in with our white a little bit and we're just gonna fill it in with a little bit of white each triangle and it's okay if it has a little bit of brown in it it's totally okay it's an, not a big deal we just want to fill it in a little bit we just want to keep our lines there so I'm keeping my lines there um, that way I don't lose my line oh my gosh, the dog's getting me. and we're just gonna fill it in with white no bell she wants out. No, what? She just wants out here with me, of course. So we're just filling this in with white. And make sure you keep your line here. Don't blend it too much, because if you blend it too much, it'll disappear on you. Um, because you want those separation of those lines. So once we're done filling those in, um, we're going to fill in our, our roof, I think. Super confusing. Oh, I'm looking at it too. It's like right here in front of my face. Okay, so we're just going to take the same color and we're going to bring this in like it's like it's part of the roof, right? And we're going to color this in or paint this in, color it in, paint it in. Don't blend too much because like I said, if you blend too much, you're going to lose your, your shape of your curve. So at the end of this, you should have... This is going to go halfway up to right here. So actually, I need to go further up. There we go. So halfway right here, you see your square right here? You're going to go like halfway up to the square with your roof. I said you want to keep this line right here because you want to keep your, your shape of your building. see how I'm keeping my shape of my building as you can see I'm keeping the shape of my building now I feel like I ran out of room a little bit but that's okay I'm actually gonna kind of do a little bit of black to kind of do my roof up here because um, I do feel like I, I I'm biffed on my roof up here a little bit, but that's okay. We're just going to do the best we can with what we got. This is my roof up here. So I'm using black and brown a little bit. There we go. I'm going to rinse my brush because I'm going to use white now. looks a little funky right now and I promise you it's not gonna look like this when I'm done. Um, now I'm doing my steeple here although I feel like I lost my little I need that still I need this little the steeple goes behind this line right here so this is my little there we go I thought I lost it for a minute. I was like, damn, I lost it. But this is supposed to be behind. So you see how my steeple is behind here? There we go. I could probably brought my, I probably should have brought my, my torch down a little bit. That's okay. All right. I'm just kind of teaching you how to do the shapes because I think that's important is the shapes when you're using the shapes. Um, this part right here is white because this is where the steeple part is. Make sure you don't blend too much, like I said, 
because you want to keep that shape of your church, okay? So now we have a shape of our church. This is going to come out a little more. So I'm going to make like a kind of like a, a ledge here. And then this over here needs to be painted too. So we're going to paint this white. And then we're going to make a little ledge over here too. There we go. They kind of give it definition. Um, and now we're going to put a little white on the roof up here because, you know, it's snowing and we need to put some texture um, to snow. So this is just texture snow. I'm just making it look like it's snowed on one side of the roof. Okay, I'm just kind of give it that shade look to it. And now we're gonna we're gonna get to the black top of this right here. So we're gonna go ahead and make this black while it's still wet because wet paint is your friend, and you want to make sure it's wet enough for you to black. It's kind of black and brown. It's not all the way black. But this is part of the roof here. There we go. We're going to kind of do the same over here. We're just going to paint this a little black here. And then we're going to let this dry for a minute. Um, Try not to lose your shape over here because I kind of lost my shape a little bit. So I'm going to dip it in the brown a little. I don't want too much brown. I almost lost our little roof shape here. Okay. That's what I'm talking about when you blend too much. You'll lose your shape of your building um, if you're not careful. Now you could do some streaks in here, like some maybe some brown streaks to kind of give it like that. Oh, it's like a it's like a, a roof, right? You want to make sure the roof looks like a roof, with the wood, right? Um, and there you go. There's the the foundation of your church. Um, this is the foundation of this church, and. I think I'm going to stop there. I don't want to go too far because I want to do part two, but I want to give my group a chance to do part two in the group. And um, So I will give you guys an invitation to do part two. Um, this was part one. And then in part two, we're going to move on to um, the windows. We're going to do the windows. We're going to do some, some snow shading. And then we'll do the rest of the trees and the garland. And I'm going to show you how to do all that and then add some nice glitter to it. Okay. So whew, that's really bright in my eyes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and it's, it's so bright. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want part two, go ahead and head over to the group, the coffee um Great and repeat group and I'll see y'all there. All right guys, I'm out of here and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out. Bye. If I could change